kids and welcome back to the Keys Kids channel and I miss Keys. This is our official 10th episode. Yay! I just want to thank you guys for always coming back to read with me. We are not slowing down by any means necessary. We have a new month, we have a new book, we have a new series, but before we get to all that fun stuff, we need to have a talk. On May 25th, 2020, a man named George Floyd died at the hands of racism. Racism is the prejudice the discrimination, the pure hatred of someone else based off the color of their skin. George Floyd was a black man. And George Floyd died because he was a black man. I wanted to let you guys know that racism is not okay. It is not okay to hate someone because of the color of their skin. It is not okay to hate someone because of how they are born. It is not okay to hate someone. I wanted you to know that here at the Keys Kids channel, we do not stand for racism. It is not okay and it will not be tolerated. We stand firmly with the Black Lives Matter movement. It is a movement to celebrate Black lives, to stand up for Black lives, and to let everyone know that Black lives matter. And for the record, we are not saying that other lives don't matter. What we are saying is that Black lives are at risk. We are at a higher risk of dying every day. And until that changes, we will shout from the mountaintops that Black Lives Matter. With all that being said, I have decided to change our book this week. This week, we will be reading this amazing book called Black is a Rainbow Color. This book is a pure celebration to Black culture. And that is my goal. I dedicate this episode to all of the people that died due to the hands of racism. To George Floyd, to Breonna Taylor, to Trayvon Martin, to Eric Garner, to all of those people. Your life mattered. And I'm sorry. We will read and we will celebrate black culture just for you this week. I want to give a huge shout out to Angela Joy and Yuka Holmes for this amazing book filled with the most beautiful pictures and the most beautiful words. This week, we celebrate black culture because black lives matter. So, not only do we have an amazing book to read, but we are also diving in to a brand new series. This month, we are going to be talking all about main idea. I know, I know, I know. Trust me, I know. Main idea is a doozy. And sometimes people even call it the central idea. And those mean the same thing. So since we have such a big task when it comes to main idea, I've decided that not only will we be doing main idea for the month of June, we are also going to be doing it for the month of July. That means we're gonna have two full months to practice and get even better at main idea. I 
I know you're excited just like me. Main idea is tough, but I got your back. You know that. So with that being said, you know I'm going to give you a trick or two. But let's start with the beginning. What is main idea? Main idea is just the most important idea about a topic, article, or book. It's the big idea. Now with main idea, you have the main idea and then you have the supporting details. Kind of like the legs. You know what? It's kind of like a chair. Yeah, like that. And so the main idea is just the cushion. And your supporting details, which support your main idea, are like the legs. Because the legs support the cushion. Ha 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 ha. And so, if you remember last month when we were working on the five W's and an H, I told you that we would be using some of that to help us this month. So, I'm going to give you your little trick. The main idea can easily be put like this. The who does what and why. Or a character has a problem and it was solved by... Don't worry. I know everything's all it's gonna get easier I promise for the main idea we just use clues to help us figure it out we use clues like what's the text mostly about we look at the headings and the titles we look at the first and last sentence of the story we also look for repeating words all of that together helps us find the main idea. The supporting details just tells us the who, the what, the when, the where, the why, the how, the how much. It just tells us everything else. It supports the big idea. Don't worry, I'm going to show you. So you know what time it is. It's our favorite part of the video. It's time to read, guys. Are you ready? Let's go. Black is a Rainbow Color. Written by Angela Joy. Illustrated by Yuka Holmes. Angela Joy is our author today. And Yuka Holmes is our illustrator. Red is a rainbow color. Green sits next to blue. Yellow, orange, violet, indigo. They are rainbow colors too, but my color is black. And there's no black in rainbows. Black is a crayon tangled in a box. Black is a feather on white winter snow. Black is the dirt where sunflowers grow. My color is black. Black are the braids in my best friend's hair. Black are the bottoms of summertime feet. Black are soft circles that spin down the street. My color is black. Black is a rhythm. Black is the blues. Black is sidewalking in spit shine shoes. Black is the road on Thurgood's back. Black are the trains on railroad tracks. Black are the eyes on salted peas. Black are the shadows of old magnolia trees. Black is molasses from tall sugar cane. Black is soft singing. Hush now, don't explain. Hush now, don't explain. 
Black is the skillet for bread to fry. Black are dreams and raisins left out in the sun to die. Black is the color of ink staining page. Black is the mask that shelters his rage. Black are the birds in cages that sing. Black is a color. Black is a culture. Black is history. Black is family. Black is memory. Black is community. Black is the love that lives inside me. My color is black. Black are the stones bearing witness to prayer. Black is the faith in a freedom not seen. Black was the man who gave the world his dream. dream. Black is a color. Black is a culture. Black is the heart of a candle and flame. Black is the power of movements in pain. Black are the branches that carry my name. Weaving, wrapping, lifting, laughing, hoping, grasping, quiet, strong. Our color is black. So you see, there is no black in rainbows, no black in green or blue, but in my box of crayons, black is a rainbow too. The end. In this episode, I also want to read the dedications. Angela Joy dedicates this book for all the children who ask difficult questions and adults who brave the unknown for answers. And Miss Yuka Holmes dedicates this book to all of her family, the most beautiful rainbow she knows. What an amazing book. This is probably my favorite so far. I, I love it and obviously I can relate. <laughs> So, you guys know what time it is. It's time to figure out the main idea. So we're gonna take this slowly. And I told you our trick is pulling from last month, five W's and an H, and using either a who, does what, and why, or a character has a problem and it was solved by, and those are the same thing, by the way. So our who was this beautiful black girl. The problem was, black isn't the color of a rainbow, but black is a rainbow color for her, cause she's black. And the problem was solved by, she realized that black is a rainbow color too because black is her culture and her culture matters too. Kind of like what we talked about at the beginning about black lives matter. So your main idea is super easy. The main idea of this book is that black culture matters. Black is a rainbow color too. And the supporting details we have, we just look at the pictures, we look for those repeated words, we look back in the story to support our main idea. What are the legs for our main idea to stand on? We have the cushion, right? Yeah. But then, we don't have no legs. What are we going to stand on? So we go back in our story. And if you remember, she talked about black culture, like the rhythm and blues. She talked about black culture, like Thurgood Marshall. 
and Martin Luther King and Billie Holiday. She talked about Maya Angelou. She talked about black history, black family, black memory. You can use all of these things to support your main idea. And now we have our whole chair. Now we have our big idea and the details to support it. And you can use many details in this book to support your big idea. See, that wasn't so bad. It was a little hard, but not too bad. Don't worry, we are going to keep practicing. This is going to get easier. I got your back. I wanna thank you guys for reading with me. I wanna thank Angela Joy and Yuka Holmes again for this phenomenal book. I want to remind you guys that on Monday on the Keys Kids channel Instagram, I post the book we'll be reading that week. And in the description box below, you can find comprehension questions to help build your main idea skills. I want to thank you guys again for joining me this week. Please, please, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next week as we dive into a brand new book looking for main idea. See you next week on the Keys Kids channel. Bye. See you next week.